Today's lesson is Lady Gaga. The Queen of Pop becomes a mental health advocate. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show. I'm Roger, and I'm Helen. And today we're going to talk about the Queen of Pop. You know, when I hear that term, of course, I think of Madonna, but that's from many, many years ago. But I guess the current queen of pop is Lady Gaga. Right, Madonna is still alive and well, and she's still working. But she's a bit more laid back these days compared to Lady Gaga, who has starred in films. Her latest film was、uh, *Star Is Born*, and she has an incredible voice, an incredible stage presence, and her fashion sense is daring and very avant-garde. So Lady Gaga is very special and talented. In many ways, and these days, you know, we might just look at her and think that she's a force of nature, that she has talents that are beyond ordinary human beings. But actually, she has gone through quite a lot herself growing up, and she's had her struggles. And this is what today's article talks about. So let's find out some more about Lady Gaga, the Queen of Pop. Hey, but she's not only a popular singer; she's also helping out people with mental problems. So let's find out what this is all about. Let's listen to the first part of our lesson right now. Lady Gaga, the Queen of Pop, becomes a mental health advocate. As an award-winning singer, musician, actress, and fashion icon, Lady Gaga seems to have it all. Of course, she didn't start out as Lady Gaga. And underneath the glitter is a story of struggle that she addresses in her latest album, Chromatica. 大家好，标题中我们看到名词 advocate， 意思是提倡者。例如 ，Carol is an advocate for poor people who want to better their lives by getting a good education. Carol 是名提倡者，她支持想要透过良好教育改善生活的穷人。另外，这个字也可以当动词，指提倡、拥护，念作 advocate。举例来说 ，Protesters are advocating that the old tax system be changed。抗议者提倡旧税制应该更新。再来，我们看到单字 underneath， 这个字是介系词，指在点点点底下，在点点点下面。例如 ，Lori placed a spare key to her house underneath a plant on her front porch。Lori 将备用钥匙放在前门的盆栽底下。另外，这个字也可以当副词，指在下面。像是 There was nothing on top of the rock, but we were afraid of what may lie underneath. 石头上面什么也没有，但我们害怕会有东西藏在下面。接下来，我们看到名词 glitter， 指闪耀、魅力、吸引力。像是 The little girl was fascinated by the glitter of the diamond. 那名小女孩被钻石的光芒给迷住了。或是 Nina fell in love with the actor's glitter on the TV series. Nina 爱上电视影集里那名男演员的魅力。另外，这个字也可以当动词，指闪闪发光、闪烁。我们可以说 The jewels on her costume glittered under the stage lights. 她衣服上的珠宝在舞台灯光下闪闪发光。Okay, let's talk about this title first. It says that Lady Gaga, who is the Queen of Pop, has become a mental health advocate. Okay, mental means having to do with your mind or your brain. Mental health, for example, are you happy? Are you getting along with people? Are you getting the things in life that you want, etc.? Or we could talk about physical health. How are you feeling? Do you have a cold? Did you break your leg or something like that? Did you lose a tooth? Those would be things that have to do with your physical health. But now she is a mental health advocate. Right. So mental health is probably something that a lot of people don't pay as much attention to as physical health, because physical health is something that you can feel, that you can maybe observe, but mental health is hidden. So, for instance, I could say that. 
babies, you need to hold them, you need to hug them in order to promote their mental development. So that is just as much an important part of a human being as physical health. And Lady Gaga knows this because she's had some personal experiences, and she has become an advocate of mental health. And that means that she strongly supports the cause of mental health. Perhaps she is supporting organizations or people who are in the business of promoting mental health. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's start talking about the content of the first part of our lesson for today. Let's look at the first paragraph here. It says, "As an award-winning singer, musician, actress, and fashion icon, Lady Gaga seems to have it all." So this "as" here kind of means because because she's an award-winning singer, because she's a musician, because she's an actress, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All of those things make her someone who has it all. She doesn't need to do anything else. She's made it. She is totally successful. All she has to do now is just put it in neutral and cruise through the rest of her life, no problem. She can live off her interest or whatever, or royalties from her albums. But I guess this is kind of saying that. Maybe that's not enough for her. Maybe she wants to do some other things. So, if you're an award-winning singer, of course, maybe you won a Grammy award or something like that. And of course, she's a great musician. She's an actress. She's been in films, and she's also a fashion icon. I guess that does not mean she's a fashion model so much as she is an icon. Right. That means mainly that people look up to her in fashion. They look up to her taste, what she likes to wear, and maybe she is often the first to start a trend, and then people follow her. In that sense, she's often considered a fashion icon. So on the surface, she seems to have all of these things going. On for her, she's an award-winning singer,、uh, musician, actress, fashion icon, and so forth. But of course, she didn't start out as Lady Gaga. Her parents didn't name her Lady Gaga, and underneath the glitter is a story of struggle. That she addresses in her latest album, Chromatica. So, underneath the glitter, the glitter here literally means something that shines and sparkles. Like little metallic pieces may be glitter because it produces these sparks of light. But here, the glitter refers back to the winning of the awards and the fact that she's a fashion icon and so many people admire her. So, underneath the glitter, that is. Beneath the glitter, or beneath all of this superficial qualities that she has, is another story. It's a story of struggle that she addresses, that she talks about in her latest album, which is titled Chromatica. Chromatica, yes, indeed, that is the title of her latest album. So you might not believe it, but at one time she was not. At the top of the world, she was just like the rest of us, and she was actually having a hard time in school, and maybe not necessarily having a happy childhood. So let's talk about this particular story in the next part of a lesson. We will listen first. That story begins in 1986, the year Stephanie Germanotta, later known as Lady Gaga, was born. Her extraordinary musical talents surfaced early. At the age of four, she learned to play the piano. She wrote her first song at 13 and was performing music on stage a year later. After dropping out of college to pursue a career in music, she became popular among the New York club scene. 第二部分我们看到单词 on stage 这个字是副词，指上台的，在舞台上的。举例来说 ，at the school play。Many parents took pictures of their kids performing on stage. 在学校的话剧表演中，许多父母会帮上台表演的孩子拍照。另外，这个字也可以当形容词，例如 ，The on-stage dancers were shocked by the loud sound. 台上的舞者被一声巨响吓到。再来，我们看到片语 drop out of 加名词，表示退出、脱离、点点点等。例如。Joan decided to drop out of her badminton club so she could spend more time running her business. Joan 决定退出羽球社，这样她才有更多时间经营她的事业。另外，除了上面的意思，这个片语还可以指因不认同社会规范，不愿受其约束而离群所居。举例来说 ，Tom was unhappy with his life, so he dropped out of society to find new meaning. Tom 不满意他的生活。
婴儿离群所居，试图找寻新的生命意义。再补充一下，这个片语若合写成一个字，就成了名词 drop out， 意思是中辍生，像是。It is difficult for high school dropouts to get good jobs, so all students should finish school and graduate. 高中辍学生很难找到好工作，因此所有学生都该完成学业，努力毕业。And welcome back. So we're talking about Lady Gaga and her story of struggle in this first part of the lesson. So the story begins in 1986, the year Stephanie Germanotta, later known as Lady Gaga, was born. Her extraordinary musical talent surfaced early. So she was born, and she had this talent for music. And her talent for music came to the surface very early. And her talent was just—it wasn't normal talent. It was extraordinary, meaning it was unusual. So. This word, for instance, could be used as a restaurant that serves extraordinary food, or a spot in a city that has extraordinary scenery. It's something out of the ordinary. And Lady Gaga showed her extraordinary talent for music at a very young age. Yep, it surfaced early. And here we've got the word "surface" as a verb. That just means something comes out from below, like a submarine will surface during the war, or whatever. If the enemy catches it, or whatever, the submarine may surface. Or a whale may surface, so you can take pictures or something like that. But in this particular case, her talent became noticed by people. It surfaced early, and at the age of four, she learned to play the piano. Now that's pretty spectacular. I've heard of kids starting to study the piano at a young age, but four seems very young there. Gee, I don't think I played my first guitar chord until I was 16 or something, and even now I can only play four chords. But、uh, learning how to play Chopin nocturnes or whatever at the age of four—that is extraordinary. That is extraordinary, and that shows that she has a special talent for music. So she started learning the piano at age four, and then when she was thirteen, she wrote her first song, and she was performing music on stage a year later. So she did everything early. That's right. She got a pretty early start. So on stage means you're on the stage in front of a live audience, and after dropping out of college to pursue a career in music, she became popular among the new. New York club scene. So, if you're going to high school or junior high, or college or university, and you decide to quit for whatever reason, you could use the verb phrase to drop out of something. You could probably drop out of other things, but mostly this is used to talk about your education. I dropped out of high school when I was 16 and traveled the country and became a little criminal in Texas, for example. That didn't really happen to me, but that might be a story for someone if they drop out of school. We certainly don't encourage you to drop out of school. Stick with it. But she decided not to stick with college. I'm getting out of here. I know I'm talented. I want to pursue my musical career. All this college stuff is a waste of time. Right. So she dropped out of college, and then she became popular among the New York club scene. So Lady Gaga or Stephanie Germanotta is from New York, and when she dropped out, she probably tried to perform in clubs and locales, restaurants in New York City, in an effort to try to get discovered. And so when you have a lot of those places where people. Gather for a particular interest, such as music or art. You can call that place or that group of people a scene. So you have an art scene or you have a music scene. You can also say political scene. For instance, the political scene in Washington D.C. these days. You're referring to politicians and lawyers and all of those people in government. That's the political scene is very vibrant. There's a lot of activity going on. Okay, that brings us to the end of the second part of our lesson. Let's move. On now to the third part. We will listen first. Then came 2008's The Fame, Lady Gaga's first album, which she wrote and co-produced. Two of the songs from that album, Just Dance and Poker Face, rose to number one on the charts, and just like that, a star was born. The Fame was followed up by a series of hit albums, from The Fame Monster and Born This Way. To her most recent release, Chromatica. Along the way, songs like Bad Romance and Telephone 
have topped the charts and have made Gaga the undisputed queen of pop. Undisputed. 这个字是形容词，指毋庸置疑的，毫无疑问的。例如 ，Picasso's importance in the history of art is undisputed. 毕卡索在艺术史中的重要性是毋庸置疑的。And welcome back to the third part of our lesson. So. Lady Gaga drops out of college and then joins the New York club scene and becomes famous there. Then, in 2008, she produced her first album. It says here, then came 2008's The Fame, Lady Gaga's first album, which she wrote and co-produced. So she had a lot to do with the first album. She didn't just sing the songs on it. She also wrote the songs. She co-produced it, which means she had a hand in deciding how the songs. Will sound to the listeners, and two of the songs from that album, "Just Dance" and "Poker Face," rose to number one on the charts. And just like that, a star was born. Okay, so yeah, if you produce an album, of course, you run the mixing board there, and you set up the microphones or whatever, and then you do the mix down later. And she was involved in that. Usually, people who are singers won't do that kind of stuff. They might write their own songs, but、uh, somebody else will produce the songs. Here, she produced the album. With somebody else, and that's the, of course the title, the fame. That was the album's title, and there were a couple of hits as well. Just Dance and Poker Face. Hey, that one got to number one on the charts, and a star was born. Just like the movie she recently starred in with Bradley Cooper, I believe. Now the fame was followed up by a series of hit albums from the Fame Monster and Born This Way to her most recent release. Chromatica. So here we've got the word "release," which、uh, could be a verb. Please release me. Let me go. But in this particular case, it's a noun. It's talking about when something comes to the market, when it is released, and you can go to a CD shop and buy the thing. So yes, the album was released. Or you could also call it a release as a noun, and I guess her recent release or her recent album is entitled Chromatica. Right, and release can also refer to a movie or a book. An author could release his or her latest book. So it's any anything along those lines that is made available to the general public. So along the way, songs like Bad Romance and Telephone have topped the charts and have made Gaga the undisputed. Disputed Queen of Pop. So one of her songs is perhaps her most famous, called "Bad Romance." Here, the word "romance" is referring to an exciting and often brief romantic relationship, something fleeting, something very passionate. So, "Bad Romance," of course, is when that romance goes bad. It turns into a bad experience, and that is the name of one of her most famous songs. So, those two songs became number one, topped the charts. And those two songs made Lady Gaga an undisputed queen of pop, meaning nobody can argue the fact that Lady Gaga is a queen of pop. Yep. So these are some examples of some of the songs that have become hits of hers. So you probably know these songs, and they have made her the undisputed queen of pop. Now here we've got the word. Undisputed. We first of all should talk about the word dispute. That means arguable. Okay, like、uh, nobody knows for sure if that's the case. I believe there are some islands north of Japan that are disputed. Japan thinks those islands belong to Japan, whereas Russia currently controls them. So those islands are disputed. But if there is no argument or if there is no disagreement, then you could say it is. Undisputed, and everybody would agree with this. Indeed, she is the queen of pop. She's even more popular than Taylor Swift. Okay, folks, and that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Now let's listen to our Chinese teacher. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 Good
Of course, she didn't start out as Lady Gaga. 当然，她并非一开始就是女神卡卡。这边我们来学习 start out 的意思和用法。好，第一个是指开始或是开始从事。那么 start out 后面可以接 as 加上名词去表达起初是怎么样，从什么什么做起，以什么样的身份状态开始。像课文就是这样的用法。好，例如 ，They started out. As co-workers, but later became close friends. 他们一开始是同事，但后来成了亲近的朋友。那么 ，start out 后面也可以接动名词，去表达一开始处于某种状态或是做某事。好，例如 ，He started out wanting to be a lawyer. But became a photographer instead. 他一开始想要成为律师，但后来却成了一名摄影师了。好，第二个，我们可以用 start out 来表达启程、出发。例如 ，If we start out at 6 a.m., we should get there by noon. 如果我们早上六点启程，六点出发，应该中午之前就可以到那里喽。好，读到课文最后一句，他说 ，Along the way, songs like Bad Romance and Telephone have topped the charts. 好，那这边要介绍的是。Along the way, along the way, 它表示沿途，在途中，在路上，就相当于 on the way。不过呢，它也可以表达出在什么什么过程中的语义，像是 Are you interested in learning new skills and making a little money along the way? 你有兴趣学习新的技能，并且在过程中赚一点钱吗？这样听起来有点像诈骗集团。好，不管，我们再补充两个用语哦。好，第一个补充的是。On route, e n 空格 r o u t e. 好，我们在英文里面 route 这个字，或是念作 route， 它就是指路线、路途。那么 on route， 它是来自法文的外来语，也可以用来表达在途中、在路上的意思。那么后面可以先加 to， 再加要前往的地方。例如 ，They stopped to eat. On route to their destination, 他们在前往目的地的路上呢，有停下来吃东西。好，第二个补充的用语是 along the line。哎，字面意思是沿着线，那它其实也可以表达在过程中。我们常常会用 somewhere along the line 来指过去的某一个时刻。那这常常是表达说，在不知不觉中，不知从过去哪一刻起就怎么样怎么样了。举例来说。Katrina seems to have lost her interest in acting somewhere along the line. 不知从何时起，不知从哪一刻起，她似乎对演戏没兴趣了。好，那么以上今天重点整理，我们回顾这些单词吧。Mental, the government program helps people with mental illnesses. Underneath, Tina finally found her missing bracelet underneath the pile of clothes. Glitter. Many young actors are attracted by the glitter and charm of Hollywood. Extraordinary. Many people admire the actress's extraordinary beauty. Release. Fans across the world can't wait for the release of the band's next album. Romance. Ian and Jessica's romance began while they were both in high school. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program. And please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I'm Helen. See, See you, you next time. time.